Baptist Golden Triangle Hospital is taking some extra precautions to ensure the safety of its patients and staff. Last week, metal detectors were installed at the entrance of the ER, and security personnel are now equipped with handheld detector wands. Our Keely Shields talked with hospital administrators about the decision to add the extra layer of security, and she joins us live from Baptist Golden Triangle with the latest on that. Keely. Just through the doors behind me, security guards and metal detectors are waiting for anyone who enters the ER. Now, administrators say that this was the best decision to provide excellent care without compromising safety. It's been a week since Baptist Memorial Golden Triangle installed metal detectors at its Columbus campus. Administrative Director Madison Guyton says the plans to improve safety have been in the works for a while. We actually started this process about eight months ago uh, to try to prevent weapons from entering our facility. It wasn't necessarily because of certain events that happened, but then we did have certain events that transpired and they kind of pushed the metal detector through even faster. Uh, but just mainly to protect our staff, our visitors and our patients to try to make a safer environment that promotes healing. Every guest or patient who comes through the ER is required to go through the detector. This is what you can expect when you come to the hospital's doors. And if you set off the alarm like I did, you can expect a wand check. The main thing is you will be screened when you come through the metal detector. Uh, we're looking for any weapons, uh, firearms, knives, pepper spray, anything that could cause anyone harm, tasers. Uh, so you will be screened. If we do have to use a wand, we may take you through that process, uh, possibly patting down somewhere if we needed to. Uh, we do give people the opportunity to take that weapon, if it's found, back to their vehicle to secure it themselves, if they have the ability to do so. Uh, if they don't, we do not delay medical screening for any reason, but we will secure that weapon for you, and then we will return it to you upon your discharge at your vehicle. The hospital has hundreds of employees who use different entrances to get into buildings. Areas that do not have metal detectors usually require ID badge access. A lot of our areas, you do have to have a badge to access, and then a lot of the other areas, if you come through any entrance we do have screeners in place so generally we do want you to state what business you have like who you're here to see we kind of help direct people to where they need to go to see people to help their process getting through our facility will be a little easier. And as for plans to expand the safety precautions, Guyton says at this time they're working out the details. We are in a pilot phase right now so we're evaluating the success or um, challenges with this metal detector first and then we may look at expanding through the hospital. Now the ER is open 24-7 so you will be screened at all times a day. Reporting live in Columbus, Keely Shields, WCBI News.